Hello. I'm restoring this Revox A77 and I came to a point that I am going to replace the recording and playback heads. But before doing so, uh, I just wanted to make a quick doc uh, documentation of the current status of the playback head. And if you, if you noticed, uh, my heads are a little bit flatter at the circumference and this is always an indication of a worn out head. So as the tape passes in front of the head, it just uh, wears out the metal part of the head and uh, the head lo loses its curvature where the slit is and um, starts to become flatter and flatter. That uh, has some implications on the frequency response, like the high frequencies start to um, get lower and lower, and the um, the flux carrying capacity of the head metal parts becomes smaller as the cross section gets narrow. So I just wanted to uh, document. Um, where like this how does it impact the frequency response so uh, this there is nothing scientific i'm just going to eyeball uh, more or less the current wear by something that i can measure it with so i'm just going to come closer i'm doing it with one hand and yeah there's nothing scientific about it so this is way beyond acceptable limit because the frequency response starts degrading sub one millimeter from high frequencies like 20k downwards you start losing uh, about half a millimeter onwards so 4.5 4.3 is quite bad Yet again, how bad uh, we are going to uh, capture it with the Clio measurement equipment. So let me uh, let me walk you through my setup. For example, uh, first of all, so Clio is generating the pink noise, uh, and the pink noise is coming to the seven to seven. You see that uh, it is registering here. Uh, don't pay attention to this one; it's broken. Uh, this is on the list uh, of the to be changed items and I open up a new tape uh, I know that it's not the best quality so you should expect a little bit degradation from the tape quality as well but uh, it's a new tape it hasn't been recorded on so we are going to start the recording and it's, uh, since this is a three head uh, machine, we are going to immediately um, observe the frequency response from Clio. So, Clio is uh, generating a pink noise. And let's start the measurement. Okay, I am going to increase the resolution a little bit and make a averaging so that we can have a steady measurement okay so we are looking at channel a so this is one of the channels and let's see what the midsection is um, this is registering like 52 53 db minus 52 50 2.5 and let's bring the other cursor and let's see minus 3 db point to that so 56 minus 3 db point is below just just below 10k or 10k on a good day so partially the tape partially the head um let's put it our in in our photographic memory and switch to channel b if the heads are worn symmetrically, we are going to see the same, but if they are not, we are going to see a different roll off slope. And yeah, 
this is the other channel let me mark it with maybe blue and we see that uh, this is an asymmetric wear out it happens when the uh, band applies a little bit higher pressure on one side one channel or the other so the uh, head is not perfectly perpendicular to the band the band is generating a little bit pressure either to the top or the uh, bottom of the head and you are having a different roll off and your staging your right left balance everything will be affected by this so hopefully uh, when i replace these heads uh, i'm going to address this of course uh, there should be a thorough recapping of the both recording and playback heads uh, sorry uh, circuitry and i will keep you posted so bye for now